What's going on guys, welcome to my tutorial where I show you guys how to optimize your software when you're using the Adobe Creative Suite. Some of the programs that Adobe has comes with scratch disks and I'll explain that in a minute. But first I'm going to show you something in Windows and for Mac users, you can do the same thing. You might have to do different steps, but you can accomplish the same goal. So first I'm going to come over here in Windows and I'm going to select Control Panel and then select System Security, Administrative Tools, Computer Management, and then I'm going to select storage and then disk management. In disk management, this shows my main disk here, which is almost 500 gigabytes. Basically what happens is the computer was shipped with 500 gigs and the actual space that can be used is 465. What I did was I right clicked on this and I shrink the volume. When you shrink the volume, you can divide it into new volumes. And I have one here called H and then another drive here called D. And then over here is 14 gigs that I don't have allocated. So let's come over here to the C drive. I'm going to right click on this, select shrink, and what Windows is going to be doing is calculating the free space that actually I could take away from this drive. And by doing this, we can create a new drive and you can put a lot of materials you know, elsewhere away from your operating system. And that's the goal here. If you have all your files on the C drive and say your OS, you know, the operating system crashed, then all of your files are going to be lost. But if you can get it away from the operating system and you ever want to do like a fresh install or you want to put your scratch disk away from your main drive, you can enhance the speed of the software. So with programs like After Effects, Premiere Pro, and Photoshop, having the scratch disk away from the operating system will help you. So over here it says that I have this much space available to shrink the drive. And then what will happen is if I click shrink, it will take me through the steps of actually creating a new drive and it's very simple to do. So that accomplishes my goal here. I have three separate drives that I wanted. So now let me open After Effects and I'm going to show you guys how you set the disk cache in this program. Okay, we're going to come over here to Edit and select Preferences and then select Media and Disk Cache. Over here you see that the After Effects folder on the H drive is selected and if you have a different folder you want to use, all you have to do here is navigate to the folder that you want, so that's easy enough to do. And then over here we have where the database is selected and another cache is selected. So you can set these folders to whatever you want. It doesn't really matter what folder it is as long as it's away from your main drive where your operating system is. So again, that's where the importance is. We'll select OK and I'm going to select Premiere Pro. So we have the option here for scratch disk and you see all the folders here are set. I'm going to select OK. So now let me show you how it's set for the actual software. Let's go to Edit, Preferences, select Media. So over here the folders are set for the media cache. Select OK. And now I'm going to open up Photoshop. In Photoshop you're going to go to Edit, Preferences, select Performance. Right here it says Scratch Disk. I select the H drive for that. And it just allows you to select the actual drive and not a specific folder. So these are a few ways that you can enhance the speed of your software. Partition a hard drive, set the scratch disk in one of these programs, and you'll be good to go and your software will run great. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you guys later. Cheers.